The incident brought to our attention by the community of people who are concerned that charges were not filed. But the police tell us there's more to the story. I reviewed this lengthy police report they sent us at 6 o'clock, but I also spoke with PETA and the school about what this means. According to a police report, a truck filled with three Miamisburg High School students accidentally hit a dog on the 19th on their way to a party. The dog's owner's roommate reportedly sat with the dog until it died. Three officers were called to the scene where they confirmed the dog was dead and called for it to be removed. Meanwhile, at the party, the students shared what had happened earlier that night. A few took it upon themselves to go find the dog and bring it to the party. What exactly happened to the dog once there is unclear because of conflicting reports from people at the party. But we do know that it had three visible wounds when found by police. Since then, videos like this one on your screen have been circling social media, making people speculate if the dog was really dead when the kids picked it up. According to police, the dog was dead when it was hit earlier, and PETA explained why the dog may look alive in the video. The timeline does match up as far as the setting in of rigor mortis, which would cause the dog's body to become stiff and give the body the appearance of still possibly being alive in that clip. So while it is disturbing to mess with an animal corpse, it is not a crime, so the case is closed, according to police. From a standpoint of um, cruelty investigations, the dog isn't experiencing any sort of pain or suffering after the animal's deceased, so that would not be something that could be in included in the cruelty laws. But people on social media are also speculating who was involved. And there's been a lot of names thrown around that this involvement included football players. I am here to tell you that there were no football players involved in this incident. There was one student named in the police report, and I am told that the school has counseling available and that individual underwent a threat assessment. It's called CSTAG, and it's through a, a national company that uh, determines um, a student's risk in terms of whether they were having a mental um, uh, health risk, a medical health risk, or an academic health risk. Like I said, police have closed this case, but even though there was no crime in this instance, according to police, animal cruelty is still a concern. Now, PETA says that if you are concerned about animal cruelty, to call your local law enforcement first, and then if you need, think there needs more attention, to call PETA at their emergency line. Back to you.